On the Artie Lang Show with the great Dave Juskow. Comedian extraordinaire. You know, we have the twins in the kitchen, Liz and Marie Canavan. I asked Liz to be in the last segment because <laughs> she sustained an injury, but we weren't talking about her for longer than 14 seconds, so she <laughs> left. I look over at the end of the segment. Oh, maybe I'll go to Liz now. She's not there. And during the commercial, I say, what happened? He goes, well, you weren't talking to me. I'm so what upset, happened? like a typical broad. Yeah, it wasn't about me. For, th for 30 seconds, it wasn't about me, so I just left. <laughs> Apparently, there's someone else in the universe. <laughs> Didn't get the memo, fat ass, <laughs> that there's someone else in the universe and you were talking to them, fatso. <laughs> so I left. How's that sure. sound? Because I have other stuff to do. There's another room where I have to stand and do nothing in. <laughs> I, I don't, you think this is the only room I do nothing in? This is not the only room that I do absolutely nothing in. There are several rooms in this building where I have to stand during the course of one shift to do nothing in. And I was doing nothing here for longer than 30 seconds, and I said, fine. I was going to answer phones. I was going to go do oh, something. Oh, whatever. <laughs> you just left. The yeah. guys like, whatever. She said, I'm leaving. It's all about what? you guys, I guess. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, but, and I wanted to be so nice and, and, and compassionate. Liz sustained an injury. You hit your head on a car door. <laughs> car door. Yeah, what happened? And I want to you know, Marie, you give me the story, because I feel... I, well, I was around the other side, but all of a sudden I hear Liz open the door, and she's hysterically crying, and we're with our mom and other sister. <laughs> she starts screaming, call 911! And I run around, I'm like, oh my gosh, we have to call 911. She's crying, so then when I saw her crying, I was like, oh no, I think she, like, she's going to die. Oh. My mom's like, you guys are insane. insane. Calm down. Wait a minute, where were you guys? Explain where you were. Kansas, we're visiting, visiting our younger sister. Your, sister, your younger sister goes to the University of Kansas. Yes. Yeah. She's a, uh, what is that, a Hawkeye, a Buckeye, some kind of Hawkeye. 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 She goes no, there. Jayhawk. 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 I mean, Jayhawk. Iowa's Hawkeye. Iowa's Hawkeye. Jayhawk. Whatever. Just, uh, just, just trying wrong. to get into this. Jayhawk. 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 <laughs> so, so, so you're in a cab? No, oh, uh, a like a car, SUV, SUV type. Kansas. One of the cars so that your cabs? one of the cars your family owns on the string of SUVs. No, it was one of Caroline's friends. So, so you open the door and you hit your face into the door. Yeah, this thing's so stupid. Liz, do you, are you dating a guy who's beating you? Is this made up? No, no. <laughs> are you sure you're not a battered woman? Positive. I'm not trying to like. Honey, I swear to God, I'll say I hit my door. Into my head. <laughs> you better no. say, you better say you made, you better say you fell no. again, Liz. You bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so clumsy. You're clumsy, Liz. You understand how clumsy you are? You hit your head into the car door, so you're bleeding. Oh, you're right, Butch. You're right, Butch. Butch. I'm sorry. I just want you. I just want you to stop burning my fern. Take your head. Show him your injury. I burned your fern as I fur to show to Make tell you something about life. Oh, wow. Bitch! I'm so clumsy, Butch. I'm so clumsy, I hit my head in the door. I'll never do it again. No, I was just being stupid. I was just being stupid, Butch. There you go. Exactly! <laughs> You're stupid! <laughs> That's how every argument probably goes with someone Bill Maher's dating. <laughs> You're stupid! New rule! Bill you Mom can never sweet. talk to me again! New rule, you're stupid. <laughs> I'm smart and you're stupid. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Marr. Yeah. Now give me oral and get out. <laughs> what kind of woman does that clown get? I've better, had, I've better, 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 better than you, honey. <laughs> I've met two uh, of Bill Maher's girlfriends, and I've never heard them say a word. <laughs> I think it's exactly like well, that. Of course. Yeah, Bill Maher teaches them to look down at their ankles and say nothing. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so we're very... Uh, it looks like uh, you. Uh, it's permanently Ash Wednesday for you. I know, I know. <laughs> now that, 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 I hope it goes away soon. Like by, did, did it bleed a lot? Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! I don't know. And my mom helped. She just... She, what did she do? She's not even... She wasn't even surprised. She's like, just figures. Well, yeah, well exactly. She's... She's being the voice of reason because it, it's not a it's not a bad interview. Well, I think their mom is a nurse, right? Yeah, yeah, a nurse. She is. I forgot yeah. to mention that part. You speak so <laughs> horrible about your. No, mother. she's she's good. You don't want her. On, you don't want her on the air because you said she's, she's crazy. Well, what does that mean? That's not speaking horrible. You can still about be her. smart and crazy. Mm, yeah, tell that to Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. I think your yeah. mom. You just talk down about your mother. No, I don't talk down about her. I just think she's a crazy lady. Well, but she's our mean? mother, so... What does that mean? You say she's a crazy lady, like mm. she's a bad woman. Meanwhile, she was the voice of reason. This is <laughs> I like... know. That's what we were saying, too. So who is it? It's your younger sister in the SUV, and who else? Just us and my mom. Just yeah. the four of you? Just yeah. the four of us. So did you go to the hospital? No, oh, she, like... 
just put stuff on it. She said, I'll be fine. She goes, What's I'll live. stuff? She didn't even know what it is. She put stuff on it. We had napkins in the car. She I put napkins what on it. What stuff did you put on it? She just put napkins on it. vitamin E on it. All right, calm down, Marie. Marie. <laughs> Don't hit it. You're really showing the anger in you two. My God. You two remind me like of those girls who go home and like beat up their Barbie dolls. <laughs> Out of what? their anger. Yeah, just that anger that you don't tell anybody you have. You I think we're just aggressive. You go talk. home and you just like drown your Barbie doll in the in the toilet. <laughs> no. Take that, Barbie. <laughs> Miss, oh, God. Miss Beautiful. Our Barbie was named Penelope. <laughs> hey, Barbie, you have to learn that when Ken hits you, you don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to learn some manners. When Ken hits you, that's because you made him mad because you're being a bad person. And, Ken is trying to teach you about life. So if Ken hits you, you do like I do. You say nothing. You say you beat yourself to death with a car door. <laughs> I'm so clumsy, Butch. Oh, <laughs> why is he named Butch? Because I named him Butch in this <laughs> in this improv bit we're doing. They just don't understand bit. comedy. Butch is don't the funniest thing. How, how dare you? How dare you critique my comedy? I'm not critiquing. He's butch because I'm trying to make you guys a living still. I'm trying to be entertaining so you can stay here and afford to go to the Hamptons every freaking weekend. Thank you. If I'm not funny coming up with butch, guess what? No Hamptons this summer. Yeah, it's back to Walgreens and Deerfield was trying to date a lock Noah. <laughs> no, a lock. A lock. Now, now, Mike, you, you look like you constantly have something to say. What do you? What do you? No, I, I feel. So I love the twins. I feel so sorry. Yeah, for I feel, I feel, well, <laughs> just but, shut uh, up. No, but I, I said a lot of prayers for Liz. Oh, just like, no, Thank you, Mike. The, I appreciate uh, that. Clearly, they're working. She's beating herself to death with a, with an Escalade. <laughs> I feel bad because I, when I saw her yesterday, I, uh, you know, it's bad oh, to go were... up to a really pretty girl and say, "What's wrong with your face?" You know? <laughs> your he face, goes, he goes she... it looks bad. I'm not gonna lie, it looks bad. Did no, you... I didn't say it. Yes, you did. Not like that. Why don't you pour? Why don't you pour makeup on it? No, no. you can't. I tried that. It doesn't. It... Does I... your Does your face hurt? Yes, it hurts a lot. <laughs> it's killing us. <laughs> Really funny joke, are you? Wait till my boyfriend hears about it. He's gonna punch me in the face. <laughs> Ow. Whenever my boyfriend gets bad news, he punches me in the face. <laughs> oh my God! It's a it's a it's a it's a bombing at the Boston Marathon. He better punch me in the face. <laughs> now, Mike, are you do you do you like me have this theory, Mike? And how mad are you if it's true? What if you found out Liz had a boyfriend who was secretly beating her, Mike? I'd want to I'd want to crucify him. Yeah, she's a great friend. Exactly. I know she's a great friend. I think that's the case. I would never let that happen. What, Marie? You don't care. You're off with your boyfriend. You don't care about anything. No. You're off on a jet setting in L.A. While, she, <laughs> while Liz is here trying to figure out trips all over the world. <laughs> and she goes to, like, white trash. Where's, where did you go when Marie was in L.A.? Palm Beach. <laughs> oh, no, that's their version of trash. <laughs> you made I know, it up. I was slumming it in Palm Beach. Oh, Palm Beach. They went to Palm, to <laughs> Palm Beach. I thought you went to, like, Kentucky or something. No, that's where we went to school. I know that. <laughs> I know you know that. <laughs> didn't, we, know. didn't we just pass your year anniversary on the show? Yeah, last yes. week. Last week. All right, Mike. Oh, <laughs> the only Did one that clapped. I didn't notice that. He's the only one. Yeah, and I know, because no one would think of clapping for something that stupid. <laughs> you kept, we kept the job for a year. Yay. Wow. <laughs> Loser Rooney. Well, well, congratulations. When was the actual year anniversary? April 19th. John, do you know the story behind the twins, how they got on the show? Didn't they just call and they then show up, up the next they day? They were living in Chicago in a mansion. <laughs> and they, they called him and said, we're, we're, we're obsessed with the show. We want to come by. And I said, be here tomorrow. I gave the address, and they, they flew here in their private the next jet. next day. In their private jet, in the Catavan jet. The first person we met was Dan. <laughs> That's oh, right. Yeah. Dan called up and said, hey, you know those girls on the phone? I go, yeah, we, they're here, and they're really hot. And we heard him <laughs> say that. And then Dan, but here's what Dan said. He goes, yeah, they're way hotter than on TV. Remember how gross they looked on Amazing Race? <laughs> That's well, what he said. He said, no, he just said they're hotter than they were in the pictures. I remember hearing it. And, was and like, they oh. overheard of it. That's not, you don't say that in front of a woman. I mean, <laughs> was there a promise of a job? No, they said uh -uh. a promise of maybe a job. You know, like, we said we would, uh, you know, if they came here, we'd give them a chance. Right. And we gave them, the first thing I had Marie do was park my car, which is, <laughs> she did uh, remarkably well. In, in you can't believe you to drive in New York, though. You're... Yeah. Well, Liz, you haven't learned to drive anywhere. Yeah, that's true. Do you yeah. still not have a license? No, I do have a license. When'd I have get, a license. When'd you get, are you just afraid to drive? Yeah, I'm just bad. Obviously, she can't even open the card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Am I passing the test? All right, all right. I'm trying to parallel go. park, Mr. Instructor. Well, you just keep hitting your face with the door. Oh, my God, is this wrong? Is this not how to parallel park? No, you see, what you're doing is, instead of parallel parking, you keep hitting your face with the car door. Oh, my God! Does that mean you're going to fail me? You, this car door is just like my boyfriend. It keeps hitting me in the face. Don't shut up. <laughs> 
went to Fern, it was lit on fire. <laughs> Marty, you're insane. What, what, co what color was the SUV? White. White. Oh, unlike your boyfriend. <laughs> oh. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> my white SUV is hitting me, and I'm gonna blame it on my black boyfriend. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> I just ruined lives. <laughs> I'm not. Am I doing this properly? No, you just you stop hitting your face, Miss Canavan. Stop hitting your face with the door. I can't. I think I'm parallel parking. You're not. You're not parallel parking. My my forehead is a geyser of blood. I'm so clumsy. Bitch. Come here, bitch. You clumsy ass bitch. All right, we'll be back with more of the audio. I'm sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you.